Okay, hey guys, it's Ammo. Uh, today I'm going to be bottling my raspberry mead into wine bottles. And what I'm using here is a, just a regular old auto siphon. And on the end of the auto siphon, I have attached a bottling wand. It has this little, little nipple thing that when you depress it, it allows the mead to come out of the bottling wand. So what I'm going to do is take my wine bottle and I'm going to put the bottling wand in and depress it. And after a couple seconds, you'll see that the mead will be filling in inside the bottle. And when the liquid gets all the way up to the top is when you want to stop depressing the bottling wand. Because as you take it out, it leaves a little bit of empty space, which you might be able to see just below, right there, just below the, the foil. And that's just enough room that's left behind so that you can put a cork in there and seal it up. So what I have here is a wine corker. You can load the wine bottle in, drop a, a cork in. Now these corks I've sprayed and soaked in some sanitizer solution just so that I know that they're sterile. And when you depress the cork, you want to do this as fast as possible because the cork will start expanding as soon as you start pressing it into the bottle. So you really want to just do this really fast so that it goes all the way in the neck of the bottle. And uh, I'll show you in, uh, as soon as I find one what it looks like if you don't do it fast enough. Hey guys, if you don't depress the wine corking device fast enough and get that cork in the bottle before it expands, because it starts expanding immediately after exiting the corking device, it'll start expanding before it gets all the way in. And this cork here is an example of that. Um, this cork should be pushed down further into the bottle so that it has a good tight seal. Uh, I mean, this is a good seal and all, but the cork pops out the top. It's probably nothing more than cosmetic, but this will be one of the first bottles that I drink just because. So here's the wine bottle that I was just showing you with the cork sticking out the top. And that's what it should look like. So uh, if you uh, are you going to use a, a wine bottle corker, that's a hopefully a helpful tip for you. Uh, enjoy your brewing and or wine or mead making. Cheers.